Hey, I'm Ted Santos, and I've been talking to you about the reasons you can't find love. And today, well, I'm up to number 30. The number 30 reason you can't find love, and this is one of those don't shoot the messenger conversations. And it's a big one. So fasten your seatbelts. The number 30 reason you can't find love might seem trivial, <clears throat> or some of you may try to make it trivial. However, when you peel down the layers, you'll find it's problematic in very many ways. This is the reason, this reason has everything to do with how you care for yourself. For one, uh, and for this one, I'm actually going to kill two birds with one stone. The pun is, many are killing themselves, so I won't need the stones. The number 30 reason you can't find love is because you don't think mental and physical development are important. Bigger, stronger, faster, younger. <laughs> this is not my opinion. Let's look at the facts. There are many ways to develop yourself mentally and physically. Reading books, <clears throat> attending workshops, seeing a therapist, hiring an executive coach. And these are just some of the ways to develop yourself mentally. And these are clear ways to invest in yourself and your future. Now, if you won't invest in yourself, why would anyone else? See, the sirens go off. This should be, this should be siren. This should be a time for you to really think that the alarm should be sounding now. But here's the deal. Here's a problem. 33% of high school graduates never read a book for the rest of their lives. That means after high school, one third of people who never went to college will never read a book again. While this should be alarming, 42% of college graduates will never read a book again, ever. In the U.S. over the past five years, 70% of U.S. adults have not even been in a bookstore, and 80% of U.S. families did not buy or read a book last year. And these are based to, on 2019 statistics. <clears throat> <clears throat> Wow, my voice is not so strong today. <clears throat> so books are easy and convenient ways to develop your mind. Yet close to half the people who graduated college refuse to make this investment. And this is unfortunate because <clears throat> books, can, books can expose you to new ideas and new perspectives. This is, and, and that allows you to be more open-minded and learn new things. Those new things can help you be a better conversationalist and that makes you more interesting in date on dates or in relationships. It also makes it easier for you to contribute knowledge and perspectives to your significant other. And with books, you might also be better informed when making important decisions. When it comes to making uh, when it comes to decisions, you only get one body and you're responsible for it. So what decisions do you make about the one body you have? If you don't care for your body, there's no body store for you to purchase a new one. <clears throat> Therefore, if you don't care for it, you can experience poor health, which contributes to what? The inefficiency of your brain's ability to function. So you're getting back to mental health. Poor brain function can cause you to make poor decisions. And that can go in many different directions, including poor food choices. Poor food choices really exacerbates poor health, and you see how you just end up on this downward spiral. And if you're, if you're one who uh, doesn't read, you might not even know that you're making poor choices doesn't get better, right? <clears throat> and if so, if you're following that pattern, you actually become a liability in a relationship. 
The person who is well informed and committed to great physical health is highly unlikely to choose a person with poor health. And all the body positivity videos and support groups will not increase your desirability. And for those of you who may be upset about my words, your upset will not change the situation. The fact is, in the U.S., 36.5% of adults are obese. 32.5% 32 are overweight. So that means two-thirds of people in the U.S. are either overweight or obese. That's a lot of people making poor decisions. And those poor decisions cost money. Obese people pay more out-of-pocket expenses. Your medical bills cost $1,429 more each year than people who are at their normal weight. As I said, that makes you a liability. It's time to, for you to pick up some books and go to the gym. Head to the gym. That can be the first step to develop yourself into the person you would like to have in your life, right? Imagine you become the person you'd like to have in your life. And that puts you on the path to compatibility. Compatibility is the strongest foundation for a great relationship. At the same time, if you continue to remain unhealthy and uninformed, Understand who that makes you compatible for. Besides, how can you expect advances in life if you don't care for your mind and body? I'll be back with more. Think about those. Mind, body, what are you doing?